Hello, everyone. My name is Jun Hong Li. I'm a master's student in the Department of Aerospace and Mechanical Engineering at the University of Southern California. Today, I will present our latest work, Force and Moment Based Model Predictive Control for Achieving Highly Dynamic Local Motion on Bipedal Robots. The motivation of our work comes from several important sociological needs, one of which is replacing human in disaster response missions. In this case, thanks to the human-like design bipedal robots have, their applications could be very valuable. To be able to achieve this, the bipedal robots need to have agility and dynamic movement like human, including but not limited to being able to traverse through rough terrains and adapting gates to different terrain types. This will allow bipedal robots to replace humans in very dangerous working situations. Another important application of bipedal robot legs is powered lower limb prosthesis and exoskeletons, which can be very helpful for the disabled people to go through the rehabilitation process. These devices require control framework that will allow them to adapt to different gait types depending on the user while having soft impact to traverse through rough terrain. In our work, we combine a force and moment-based control framework with model predictive control on controlling bipedal robots in order to achieve the important requirements discussed in the previous slides, such as traversing through rough terrain, adapting to different gates, and having soft impact. Now I'm going to discuss some related work in the area of MPC framework on quadruped robots. This example here is a convex MPC model on the MIT Cheetah 3. It is a force-based controller. The advantage of this feedback MPC is that it is able to predict under actuations in the prediction horizons since the control is done online. It is robust to rough terrains, even terrains with stairs. This framework can also be extended to many different gate types. With the inspiration of this successful MPC framework, we propose in our work a force and moment-based MPC for our bipedal robots. Unlike a quadruped robot in some aspects, the bipedal robot is an inherently unstable and underactuated robotic system due to its high center of mass location and small support region. To allow more agile motion, each bipedal leg has more degrees of freedom than a quadruped robot and therefore more motors to control. Successful control frameworks employed on bipedal robots, here as an example, I included the hybrid zero dynamics on the Atreus biped. It is a position-based control that depends on an offline trajectory optimization. It is a very robust framework in many situations, but it lacks consideration of different gate types and does not enforce friction constraints via feedback control, which potentially could allow more agile and dynamic motions. In our force and moment-based MPC framework, we allow the robot to switch to different gate types easily and to have soft impact at contact points to allow rough terrain locomotion. There are also works about MPC frameworks on bipedal robots. However, many of them use MPC as an optimization framework for step-by-step -step foot placement planning, as shown in the example on the right, or use position control to track the position of the optimal trajectory. In our proposed method, we use MPC as an online feedback controller that can be run in real time. Here is a preview of our work. We explored simplified dynamic models for our bipedal robot, and we integrated the force and moment-based simplified dynamics in the MPC framework. And as a result, the robot was able to perform stable locomotion over uneven terrain. Now I'm going to introduce the bipedal robot model that we use. The robot trunk is from the Unitree A1 robot. We are also using the A1 motors for our robot and it has 33.5 newton meters of max torque and 21 radians per second max joint speed. And here is the leg configuration. Each robot leg consists of five degrees of freedom and has ab, hip, thigh, calf, and ankle joints. Based on the robot model, to find the most suitable dynamic model for our MPC controller, we went through three iterations. In the MPC framework, it is important to linearize the system dynamics. Normally, the mass of the legs of the robot are only a small fraction of the total mass, and the motor placement are concentrated at the hip location of the robot. 
Hence, it is reasonable to neglect the leg dynamics and only consider the robot trunk and hip as a single rigid body. So here in the proposed model one, the ground contact points are located at the toes and the heels of the robot foot link. Each contact point includes 3D forces. This is a direct extension from the quadruped dynamic model with four contact points. During the validation process with model one, the robot is unable to perform pitch motion in double leg stance when giving a 10 degree pitch command in our simulation. So in model two, we further simplify the contact points and only use center of each foot as ground contact points and include both 3D forces and 3D moments at each contact. In the validation process, the robot is unable to perform roll motion correctly when giving a 10 degree roll command. Hence, in Model 3, we keep the same contact locations of Model 2, but in this case, each contact is only including 3D forces and 2D moments, MY and MZ. This time, we can perform row and pitch and yaw all correctly and hence will be the simplified dynamic model we use in our proposed MPC framework. I have written the simplified dynamics model we just introduced in a state-space form. The state variables include robot body oil angle theta, COM position P sub C, angular velocity omega, and COM velocity P sub C dot. The control input as introduced in the previous slide are 3D forces and 2D moments. Matrix A and B are carried out as follows. It is important to note that the relation between time derivative of Euler angles and angular velocity in the world frame has been linearized. It is an important assumption in this framework to enforce a linear relationship and reduce computation costs. It is linearized by assuming the robot has very small row and pitch angles during motion which we will also demonstrate whether it is a valid assumption in the results section. In the dynamics equation, there is still an outlaying gravity term. We choose to include gravity G in state variables and linearize the equation. The state space form can then be represented in a discrete time formulation as shown. Now I'm going to introduce the MPC problem formulation. The goal of the cost function here is to drive the COM to the desired trajectory while minimizing the control input, hence maximizing the energy efficiency. The problem is subjected to several constraints. First, the dynamics is applied here as an equality constraint to ensure state at each prediction horizons are constrained by the robot dynamics. A set of inequality constraints are applied here to ensure the lateral foot force are within the friction pyramid, all applied forces and moment are saturated, and the motor torques are within bounds. The last equality constraint ensures the swing foot does not apply any ground reaction force or moment. This constraint can be changed easily to allow different gate types without changing the entire formulation. I will talk briefly about our proposed control architecture. The user will command a set of desired state and send to both MPC controller for stance leg and Cartesian PD controller for swing legs. The gates are time-based and are determined by a gate generator. Each leg is either under stance or swing control, but not both. We have covered in the force and moment-based MPC stance control previously. In the swing foot control, we are using a Cartesian PD controller to track the desired foot placement. The foot placement policy involves a simple velocity feedback that determines the foot location of the next step. The force and moment control inputs are then mapped to the joint torques by leg Jacobians. The joint torques are input into the bipedal simulation, which is a high fidelity simulation framework on MATLAB and Simulink with a software dependency of Spatial V2. With that said, I'm going to show some of the highlighted simulation results from our proposed work. First, we have a velocity tracking simulation of the bipedal robot walking forward. It can be seen in the plot, 
the velocity tracking is very accurate and deviation is minimal. With our proposed control framework, not only can the robot walk in one direction, it can also be commanded to walk in 3D. Here is a simulation of the robot walking sideways and walking diagonally. We further tested the capability of the MPC framework by commanding the robot to walk over a stair terrain, which has a maximum height difference of 5.5 cm. In the velocity versus time plot, the robot can stay accurately at the desired velocity at 1.6 meter per second. In the body rotation versus time plot, it can be observed that the robot body rotation has very small error to zero desired command. In the MPC force and moment plot, we can see that the control input are well within the feasible bounds. We have also demonstrated the capability of our MPC framework in different gate types. Here as an example, it can be easily extended to hopping gate without changing the control parameters. In conclusion, we have proposed a force and moment based feedback MPC control framework for 10 degree of freedom bipedal robot. This framework enables a wide range of dynamic locomotion and also allow different gate types with the same set of control parameters. In the result, we have demonstrated that it has accurate linear velocity tracking in walking simulation, and also it performs robustly when walking over rough terrain simulation. That is all for my presentation. Thank you all for your attention. I encourage you to join our live presentation at 4.25 to 4.40 p.m. Pacific time on December 13, 2021. Our session title is Predictive Control for Nonlinear Systems 2.